Hello YouTube and welcome to another Python tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to solve the problem or actually the error of the pip install which actually gives us the error this environment is externally managed. So are you ready? Let's get started. So sometimes when you want to install a package via pip for example here I'm trying actually uh, to install a package using pip so I will type here pip install and here a package name so for example here I'm trying to install the LDAP model for Python so when I execute this command I get this error externally managed environment okay so this happened especially if you are using a Debian based distribution. So as you can see here, I'm using Kali Linux, but that can also happen if you are using, for example, Debian, okay? So here I will try to explain to you this message, what does it mean and where it comes from, okay? So actually here this message is trying or actually your distribution which is in this case Kali Linux is trying to protect actually us against mixing apt packages and pip provided packages okay so you can as you may know you can install packages via pip okay so for example here I'm trying to install a Python LDAP model via pip but you can also do it via the apt package installer for actually here Kali Linux, okay? So in order to protect you from mixing this kind of packages, we get this error. And actually this error offer us actually how to solve this problem. So uh, let's read that. This environment is extremely externally managed. So here it provides first solution to install Python packages system wide. Try apt install Python 3 dash XYZ. Okay. Where well, XYZ is the package you are trying to install. Okay. And also it gives us a second solution, which actually I think is the best one. If you wish to install a non Debian package, Python package, so in this case I'm installing uh, LDAP Python model, it advises us to create a virtual environment, okay, using this command here, which we'll be using shortly, okay, and make sure you have Python 3 full installed, okay. And the third solution that is gives us is actually if you wish to install a non-debian package python application it may be the easiest to use pipx to install xyz okay so actually what we are going to do in order to solve this problem so by the way here this message here means that our distribution so Kali Linux is adopting what we call pip 668 so here as you can see at the bottom and you can go to google i will leave you the link in the description if you want to read more about this pip 668 so the name is marking python based environment as externally managed so you can read about the abstract okay so here as i told you it's telling us that uh, for Python users has been conflict between OS packages, managers and Python specific package management conflicts. That's why it's adopting that PIP668. Okay. So here you can read about the terminology used in this page, the motivation and so on. So it's quite a long actually uh, description of the PIP668, but it's pretty nice to read it and to see what's going on inside okay so as I told you for us we are actually going to solve this problem using the second solution which is actually to use what we call virtual environment 
So let's do that in order to solve this problem here. So the first thing we have actually to use the command here that they have provided us. So actually it's Python tree minus actually uh, M. Then here we have to specify virtual environment and that virtual environment okay so this is the first command that we have to do in order to create a virtual environment here we go then second we have to use the command source and we have to activate this virtual environment okay so what are those commands are actually doing so here by the way you can see that the prompt has changed it so here you can see that now we have a dot virtual environment between parentheses which means that we have activated our virtual environment so simply those commands allow the installation to be contained inside the directory dot virtual environment as you can see here so all the installation will be actually run inside this dot virtual environment directory so there will be no mixing between actually apt provided packages and pip provided packages so here we are now safe we are protected against mixing the, uh, the packages okay and in order to run our previous command that actually gives us this message we can use the pip or actually a python tree m then here we have to use the pip and the command that was gives us the problem in the first place okay so now we can try to use pip in order to stall the ldap python model okay so here we go you can see that uh, the actually the ldap model or python model has been successfully installed inside this directory so there is no mixing as i told you between the pip packages and the packages provided the by kali linux which are managed as you can see by the apt install or actually apt for example here you can see that if you want to install a package via kali linux you use apt or apt gate so remember that this is very very important whenever you have a debian based distribution in order to actually protect against mixing packages we use the second solution which in my case is the best one which is to use virtual environment so that was just a brief uh, video about how to solve the problem or the pip install error this environment is externally managed as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye